Hey guys, welcome back. This is still What's the Hazard, and I'm still Doug Fletcher, and it is still <laughs> December 10th, Friday, and we are still expecting snow. So uh, if you listen to the previous episode with my good friend Beth Fye, uh, we talked about temporary employees and the the incredible challenges that Omaha Steaks faces with temporary employees, seasonal employees. I know many of you have those same challenges, and Beth had some really incredible uh, advice for managing that, the magnitude of a pro- program like that. What I'd like to talk about now, and Beth is still here with me. <laughs> we yes, didn't I'm even here. change. I'm I know here. in the future we'll have to change clothes, so it looks or like we've switch done. switch sides. Or, or switch sides, exactly. <laughs> yeah, or not you and I change clothes. I just meant like we're different clothes, <laughs> you know, something oh, to that okay, effect. Yeah. So anyway, um, I think the temp stuff is fascinating, but you and I met actually through the OSHA Voluntary Protection Program. Correct. Um, I was uh, the compliance assistance specialist with the the Omaha area office many, many years ago. You must have been 14 or 15 <laughs> when you first started at Omaha Steaks, maybe. Yeah, I always say 10. 10, something <laughs> like that. But but um, Omaha Steaks was one of the first BPP um, pre-qualification audits that I participated in with my buddy Matt Gaines out of Kansas City. And we've done a number of those. We did a number of those since, and, and we've been working on that. You've been in VPP for a long time. T- talk a little bit about VPP and, and you know, what it is, what it does, what it's done for you guys. Yeah, well, um, we really wanted to show that we go above and beyond with our safety programs. Um, we've always strived for that. So our rates were very good. You know, you have to be below the industry average to even apply for VPP. And so we kind of wanted to have a more of a consultation type arrangement with OSHA. So trying to always make ourselves better. Um, so back in, I think it was 2005, we applied for, um, I can't remember what it was called, not VP Star, it was the precursor. I don't even think they have it mm-hmm. anymore. Um, it was like, Merit. Yeah. Merit. Merit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was yeah. kind of the initial one. Yeah, so so one of our plants applied for that and got approved. And then we thought, well, why did we do that? We might as well have just applied for Star. And so we mm-hmm. just went right into Star the mm-hmm. next year. And then, um, so we just really wanted another set of eyes to come in, you know, make sure we're compliant. And, and then if they find anything, you know, we want to correct it. We don't want anybody hurt. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, that's kind of why we kind of got into it. And then, so, uh, after 2006, I believe it was, then we went to another plant in seven and another plant in 2008. So now all three th- of our plants are VPP star sites and production facilities. Yes. Our three production, three production facilities. facilities. Right. That's impressive, particularly yeah. for someone in food processing. Yeah. I mean, there are a number of challenges in that industry, you know, better than I, and there are not many food processors in the VPP. Yeah, so it's we're really actually an only, uh, I think in our NAI CS code, there's only four locations that are VPP star, and we're three of them. In, in the nation? In the nation, yeah. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, you got to maintain so, it. And, and you do, and, and you've always had, at least in the time that I've been involved with Omaha Steaks, You've always taken that, you know, let's go above and beyond approach, which I appreciate, certainly. H- has it paid off? Oh, I think so, yeah. I mean, our rates are really low. Um, you know, every, it's kind of a team effort. You know, you got to have management buy-in. I mean, if they're not going to, mm-hmm. you know, support this and support safety. And, and you know, they do. They do a great job. They, are you know, um, kind of has to start at the top, so it kind of filters right. down. So, um they're pretty proud of it, too. I'll bet. Flying the, the VPP flag, you know. Yeah. Although in the Nebraska wind, it gets beat up quite a bit. <laughs> right, and, that, right. and now I heard there's a shortage of flags, you know, because of... <laughs> I'm sure. Because everything's... They're, all, you know, they're all on a the boat off of a, yeah, a Long Island or whatever, whatever the yeah, Long so, Beach Harbor or um, something. But we, we do a lot, and we just do a lot of different things. We mm-hmm. get our employees involved. That's a big part of it, too. Yeah. You know? So so it's it's really been a good program for us it is and you mentioned uh one of the challenges is um sustaining that level of focus and that level of commitment i think the excitement that goes with the initial yeah. you know everybody's you know excited right. and everybody's you know working together on this common goal but you know once you get in staying in isn't all that easy so no I how do you guys how do you in. guys continue to keep that that focus alive uh you know we just uh Really work with management, work with employees. We have, you know, you have your safety meetings every month. You get the employee involvement, um, and then really our safety committees are, pre- are pretty great. They they'll go out on the floor and if they see somebody, you know, they're like, hey, you know, and sometimes they'll get the oh, you know, 
eye roll. You know, sure. I mean, you get some of those course, no matter what the course. case is going to be. But, um, you know, for the most part, it works well. We set goals every year. And you have to do an annual report. So, mm-hmm. you know, we do the annual report every year. And, you're kind and, of forced to take a pretty critical look at what yeah, you've done over the yeah, year. Yeah, and so we're, we constantly have different things going on. And, um, you know, one of our facilities is a PSM site, too. So then there's a PSM piece that has to be completed every year and right um we have josh king working for us now who's you know, kind of the, the ammonia ammonia guy. refrigeration guru <laughs> right. sometimes Good. he'll spout off things and i'm like <laughs> he does that to me too i, <laughs> I know i, I totally like, get Whoa. it but that's an yeah. important part of this oh yeah and yeah not not everyone has the luxury of someone with that background on their staff necessarily yeah no um you know i had a supervisor retire well jim you remember mm-hmm. a few years mm-hmm. ago and um, so that's what I went looking for. I really wanted someone with that. That PSM background. Not only safety, the but the background. PSM, yeah, yeah, to really that's cool. make sure. Mm-hmm. So, so. so this is, uh, by definition, a partnership with OSHA. Mm-hmm. Um, you have chosen, I think a lot of people would think you're out of your mind, but you basically <laughs> invited them in, right? And right. And they come back periodically. Every five years now. Initially, it was three years. Once you get in, it's three Come in at the three first years. Re- revisit or yeah, the, the first revisit is three years, and then mm-hmm. after that, it's every five. So they're coming back every five years. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we invite them in. Um, you know, they do. It's sort of like a regular OSHA. You know, you have an opening conference. Mm-hmm. They ask us for our roster of employees, and then they randomly pick people they're going to interview. Um, they look at our programs. Um, Walk through the facilities. Yeah, look at any of our like our IH stuff, like our hearing tests mm-hmm. and all that stuff, and. Um, and then they pick people and they do interviews and they're spending like a whole day doing interviews with, right. and they randomly select employees from all shifts. And then, and then they spend one day doing a walkthrough and it's usually one morning. I mean, it doesn't mm-hmm. take a whole day to get through right. our facilities, but, um, and then if they find anything, we, we have a maintenance guy go with them, which is really very helpful. And I would recommend if, even if you have an irregular audit, not a BPP audit, right. always have a maintenance guy go because if they see something and you fix it immediately, it doesn't even hit the report, really, yeah. because... Well, certainly not you know. in the VPP process. Right. And, and even in a regular audit, frankly, you know. I mean, if you're willing to address those things and they're not significant, they typically don't get yeah. cited I mean, necessarily. If, yeah. That's good. So, so yeah, and then um, every once in a while we've had a, a 90-day item, you know, mm-hmm. um, whether it's machine guarding or something that, you know, that we can't fix while they're mm-hmm. still on site, you know, so, and then, so then... We'll get the equipment and do whatever we need. I mean, Oma Sticks is willing and the family is willing to make the investment, and mm-hmm. keeping our employees safe. So that's a big deal. We do what we have to do. So, it, so it's interesting because um, being held to a um, higher standard than simply being compliant is kind of the VPP thing, right? Above and beyond. And so, I always found it interesting when we, we um, for people that don't know the VPP program. Company representatives called SGEs can participate in this, and so often the audit team will consist of a team leader from OSHA, Matt Gaines, for example, out of Kansas City, or I led some of those teams out of in, in Nebraska audits. And then we would bring some of these SGEs, these special government employees that were representatives of companies that were in the VPP. And so, which was interesting, and I actually liked it very much, it was kind of a benchmarking opportunity. They would okay. share some of the things that they did, they would see some of the things that you yeah. did, but everybody has their own opinion about how these things are supposed to be done. And when you're talking about um, above the cl- compliance level, like uh, above and beyond, everybody thinks differently about that. And so I know there have been situations where they have recommended things um, that may not be a, well, everybody's a compliance got a issue. different, yeah. So, and, you know... We've taken, I mean, they have some great suggestions. They'll come in sometime. Yeah, I mean, um, we struggled for a while with the contractor management piece. And so, um, you know, we had some good ideas from some SGEs that came in. And um, we actually have an SGE that works for Omaha Stakes. So he's gone out to other places. Mm-hmm. That's really helpful, too, because he'll come back with, hey, you know, this is an idea to mm-hmm. maybe get our employees more involved or, you know, whatever the case may right. be. So, um it's worked pretty well, but Mar- like Martin that. Leon is our yeah. SG, and, and and Matt likes him because he's bilingual too. Mm-hmm. So, of but and he's former military, so he you know 
Kind of likes it. I think. Kind of the government thing. He can handle that, thing. that odd bureaucracy that accompanies yeah. the government. He, I everywhere. remember he had to fill out a government application and, mm-hmm. you know, just to be an, yeah. a, an unpaid SGE. Well, <laughs> you know? I, I, I've, well we pay him in yeah, salary, but. I've sworn in SGEs. You know, when I was yeah. over at the office, they would come in, they'd have to raise their right hand and swear themselves to be, you know, loyal to the agency or whatever. I, I forget exactly the wording, but, yeah. you know, I mean, it is kind of a big deal. But And, and I love the aspect of SGE. Uh, as an opportunity to benchmark with other companies. I mean, there, there's really nothing more valuable than that than to be able to go and look at other high-performing companies, take away things that they do, bring them back to your facility, share things with them that you guys do. That is really a unique opportunity. Yeah. You know, I think that's really cool. Were you an SGE at any point? I was or, not. No, I wasn't. Too busy. I mean, you're well, kind of, yeah. as the boss, you really don't have the luxury of leaving for three days to go do an <laughs> audit necessarily. Not not yeah. really, but I, I you know, we make the time for it's our, good that for you Martin do that for your to, to go. Yeah, yeah, for Martin to go do that. Yeah. I agree. That's important. Plus, I remember when Matt was kind of looking for more, you know. I think they really like that bilingual piece. So when Absolutely. they go into a facility, yeah. you know, and that not is bilingual. Yeah, neither am I. <laughs> I mean, I took some Spanish in elementary school, I think. But, yeah, I wish I was, frankly. Yeah, I never thought about it growing up. I told my kids, you guys need to take Spanish and learn Spanish. And yeah. I took French. I mean, it didn't. You know? Well, that's that's more for like vacation, vacation, and, like and, that. and do I remember it? No, not really <laughs> a workplace. But it would be there. There have been many times where, when I have wished that I was bilingual. You know, yeah. interacting with employees that you know didn't speak English perhaps or well. Yeah. You know, training things like that. Yeah. Um, so three facilities in VPP, and now there is also the VPP Participants Association, yeah, which is kind of a group. Yep. An organization of all of these VPP companies, yep. and so they, they have annual conferences, you know, like regional conferences, national conferences. Yep. So anybody that is interested, that thinks they have a good safety program, that is interested, perhaps in partnering with OSHA, th- this is really a unique opportunity. There's a there. It seems like the rich get richer just because you have access to so much good information yep. in the VPP program. Yeah, I mean, I've I've gone I've gone to the the VPP re- regional VPP PA regional mm-hmm. conferences. I spoke at one here a few years ago in Kansas City. Um, I think it was in Des Moines this last year. So we'll have a lot of our plant safety specialists will go. We'll, they'll go to that and nice. pick up ideas. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a that's good cool. Program. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. Yep. Anything else going on? Just you guys are hitting, you are in the busy season. We're in the busy season. The fact yeah. that I was free from 10 to 11 was amazing <laughs> right, this morning. Exactly. And I appreciate that. <laughs> and, you're, and you're only three blocks away from where I'm my office. Hurt that you're literally three blocks away from here, which yeah. which helps immensely. Yeah. And I do appreciate your taking the time to do this. Sure. I think I caught you in a, in a kind of a weak moment last night when we had our, we have our quarterly meetings with all of the, the folks that are involved in risk management for Omaha Steaks. Might have and, been some uh, alcohol involved. There too. may have been, and so uh, <laughs> I watched your intake, and then I said, "Now is the time to ask." You know? <laughs> no, it's I all catch right. You off guard. No, it's, it's great. It's just the last couple of times I know you wanted to schedule us, then something came up. It's and, very and difficult. It. I know, but I do appreciate it. Sure. And this is really good stuff. The temporary employees issues really challenging, but it seems like you're, you've found a way to manage it well, at least to make it work. And yeah. the VPP is an opportunity for any company that feels like they have a, a solid safety and health management system and wants to get better. I think it's an opportunity for those companies to team with others. I think we're just better when we collaborate. So yeah. I think that's a great idea. All right. Thanks. All right. Have a You're great welcome. weekend. You too. Thanks for listening, guys. And um, just stay focused on the mission. We know why we do this. Employee well-being, employee health, safety. That's 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 why we were drawn to this career that's why we do what we do so stay focused have a good weekend and we'll talk to you next week later